Hey guys and welcome to this tutorial. Today we work with our manual Bastoni character and we will animate him with Mixamo. So let's get started. Go ahead and open up your mail blend. So here we got a character, click on the mesh and delete the uh, amateur. So next up we need to um, actually work on this character because here I have overlapping the feet. So now I need to initialize the character again. And whoops, we got two here. So let's uh, press Ctrl Z to go back and select now to delete him. So double A and then delete him. So now initialize the character new. And now under File Tools, we can import our character because we made the save here and let's change the age here whoops 0.5 not 0 0.5 facial expressions can be like this let's uh, make actually the T pose of course let's see if it's yeah it's good so now we have here uh, our legs and the problem with the legs is that they are overlapping and so we can't rig them with Mixamo. So go to body face measurements, get the legs, upper leg size, so here so that they not exactly, so make the mess higher, this. so something like this that they don't hit each other. So let's get the mess a bit. 0.5 was okay, I think. Let's see. It's better like this. Let's get you 0.1. So this is fine now, I think. So go to display options, enable subdivision, and now export your FBX here as a mail and press shift left click on amateur so this one is not selected now we still uh, export everything without the armature so once this is loaded you can open up the Mixamo website and go to store go to upload let's see if here yeah, this is finished so we can actually select the character so click on the mail FBX and open it so up and I will pause here until it's finished. And it has finished. So now you have the auto rigger. Uh, click on next. Then we have here some circles. Put them exactly where they are here at the picture. So get the wrists here, get the elbows, somewhere here, the knees. So knees again. My here. So you can edit this later again if you want. So click on next. Now this takes up to two minutes. So wait this up. So now there stands processing upload. So yeah, it's actually uh, uploaded, but uh, make some website or servers need to actually uh, yeah yeah save them. So you can close this up, go to my assets, and here you've got your uh, mail. So let's find some animations. And let's get an idle. So let's just take the normal one here. Let's add this to my assets. So now we have the idle animation, but let's also um, add the normal t -post. So Go there on my assets, my characters, and click here on Q download, and then FBX, the normal one, the T pose, and Q download. So here uh, we go. We got the character type and FBX with the uh, new skeleton. So let's click here on download. Uh, let's rename this Mixano. Yeah. And I don't know why, but my anime 
animation. The idle animation is not there, so let's do it again. Go to store idle, grab here the idle one, check here on um, character mail one, uh, zero zero one. So here we go. Uh, if you don't like here the arm space, you can make this a bit higher here. I will just leave it as it is because it's just a template here. So we will use later other animations, but for now we can work with this one. Here click without skin, so we just want the animation. And now it's in our download section. Let's download this one also. Now let's get the idle template. Let's get it downloaded. So now it's uh, ready to go. So open up your tutorial project or whatever you called it from the last videos. So here mm, you can actually delete this one. And of course we can delete D3 here. So let's force delete them. Be careful with uh, force deleting. My game uh, just crashed. So let's do this again. Now save the map. And I think now we can delete here D3. So let's grab them. And yeah, now it works. So and now we can also grab our Mixamo animation. This one. And we don't need materials. And we don't need textures. So import this. Once it is uh, loaded, you can close this error message here up. Let's see if it's looking good here. Yeah, and I think it's okay. So now we have a small problem with the materials. Let me just look them up. So, yeah. Um, let's get back into Blender and to the material, and we can see which one is first here. So the people is, people is the first one. So get this one here. Then we have generic and human skin. Generic, human skin. Then we have fur and human eyes. This. And then we have teeth and cornea. So get the teeth and the cornea. And yeah, we are ready for this one. So let's import our animation. This is idle template and of course the skeleton will be a mixamel skeleton. And let's import it. And now we can see here our animation. Let's delete this character here. Let's get to blueprint. Open up your main character. Get here the mesh and select the male mixamel one. And let's bring this bit down here. Let's rotate this one. Let's see, let's see. Let's bring almost here. Maybe let's get this connected to the head. Zero, zero. Mm. Why is this not correctly here? Let's compile and save. Now let's look this up here. The person camera. Uh, something like this. Yeah, let's just save this. Get your uh, skeleton mesh and use here only animation asset and we just want the idle template to play. So let's press play. Let's press OK and this character here. So let's see why is this not loading here. Let's save all levels. Open up your ah okay. Here's the problem. Uh, we just made this for the for the instance in the map and not for the actual mesh. So let's here get the people. Let's look this 
skin up generic human skin generic human oops human skin for and eyes for eyes and teeth and of course the cornea there it is save this up let's see into our my character oh we did something wrong here with the eyes so people generic skin fur skin fur human eyes oh this one <laughs> should be cornea like this so now and here in the character it will stay this white color but if we play now press k we are uh, the normal one so yeah that's it for this one let's bring them in here oh whoops not this one let's bring this one in and maybe let's fix the camera Let's bring our arm somewhere here. Let's delete this. Huh. Weird. Let's delete the spring arm. Let's create a new spring arm. Maybe this is bugged. Yeah, I think it was bugged. So now we can get the head here zero everything out or at least let's rotate this one so let's see we can best rotate it here here and we also need to rotate it like this so now it's exactly like here get the camera and get the spring endpoint Zero this one, zero this, zero this, zero this. So now we are exactly 300 meters away from the character. And let's make this a bit sideways here. Compile and save. Let's press OK. Oh yeah, and of course, we want on the spring arm to use pawn control rotation. So we can rotate it like this. Yeah, that's it for this part. And in the next video, we will gonna make some animation movements. And of course, we will do also uh, new head rotations and turn and place animations. So if you have any questions, leave a comment. And if you have any tips, just write them also down. And yeah, thanks for uh, watching. And yeah, have a nice day. Bye.